Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley Jean and if you're new you need to be subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. We are going to be diving into dollar store makeup today. Um, actually pretty impressed with what I found there and I didn't think I was going to find all that stuff so be ready for a show, a ride, one hell of a time. Keep on watching. Let me have a brush real quick, I forgot. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So, as you can see by the title, I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but we are doing a dollar store makeup haul. I already went to the dollar store last week, and I ended up going to a last-minute rave that I couldn't vlog, so that's why this is happening now. Um, I was really surprised, actually, that they had a lot of, like, not high-end, but, like, good makeup brands that I've seen so far. So, once Mike's done wetting my beauty blender, we can get started. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so we are going to start. I got this LA Colors foundation, obviously, for a dollar, and it doesn't tell me... Oh, Natural. That's the shade. So I'm going to just put some... It looks really, really dark. Um, I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender and... Oh, it actually isn't that bad. Um, it says that it's long-lasting, truly matte. Um, I actually see this brand a lot, like when I go to San Jose, and so I was really surprised that they had it at the dollar store. I've never went shopping at the dollar store for makeup, so... Um, they had a lot, of, like, of course, Wet and Wild, but, um, so this isn't that full coverage, which I'm not surprised, but we're working. Forgot to set my timer. And... The only thing that sucks, like, when I went to the dollar store is they didn't have a lot of, I would say, like, variety. Like, everything was the same, like, shade. Um, every lipstick was red or pink. Like, not, like, flattering at all to pasty people, you know? Um, I love red lipstick. It's actually what I picked out. But after I stopped cheering, I stopped really wearing red lipstick. Just because it's not a color that I feel like you wear, like, all the time unless you're performing or doing something, which I was. So I'm trying to really, like, build this up and scrape the rest of it off my hand. And that is the foundation. Not really that impressed. I cannot lie to you. But it's the whatever. Next, we're going to go in with this pressed powder. Oh, no, wait, one second filming. So, I hate these. Look at this. What even is it? It doesn't make sense. But, so this pressed powder in nude. So it's probably going to be a little bit dark for me. I'm going to go in and take one of my own brushes because they really only had eyebrow brushes there. Eyebrow. Eyeshadow. House is popular today. Everyone's popping in. So this isn't that bad. You can see that it has the mirror and everything, but it's super cheap. Like, I could probably break this in, like, a second. I'm not going to because I like to give my makeup to, like, family. I have a niece who's getting into makeup right now and so neutral pressed powder. It doesn't even want to it doesn't even close so I don't know what to how to feel about that one. Okay next we're going to go in with contour if I can open it. 
the highlight and contour. That's one thing I could not find was an actual highlight. I could not find. Um, they had just like really shimmery eyeshadows, which I was thinking about buying, but then I was like, no, I don't want to. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's light. Um, if I were to get any darker, I probably would have been chocolate. So. Sorry for the butt action. You can see we don't wear pants here on YouTube. But I'm just going to take an AOA Studio. I decided to go with one of my dollar brushes that I bought. Okay. As you can see, it's really hard when your foundation isn't completely full coverage. Um, it kind of just looks like you have like some spots on your face. But we're working. The good thing, there's not a lot of fallout on this palette, which is like kind of surprising. I'm going to say like when I went in to do this challenge, um, I kind of didn't expect a lot of good. But I do think that that pressed powder um, is actually matte. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but when I'm looking at myself, it's matte. So like there's that. So that's as I'm building that up. As you can see, I kept going over it, and that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. And I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to take this highlight, and just kind of clean up this area. It definitely makes your skin look kind of patchy. Um, I don't have, like, a hairy face. I know my sister has that problem of, like, when she wears, like, stuff that's too powdery, it makes her face look patchy because, like, she's hairy. I'm not hairy at all. Okay. So, shade light. LA Colors. This freaking thing still won't close. It's going to piss me off. Okay. So, next we're going in with this blush. It's pink blush. Just the name, pink blush. Love it. Um, I'm already looking at it. I can tell I don't think it's going to have a lot of pigment. Um, again, the packaging, it literally feels like something you get like kids' makeup. One of those shitty ass brushes. Okay. Okay, it has pigment, but they're definitely not lying when they say pink. So, I mean, maybe on my tan days in full coverage like this would look good if I'm going for more of like a natural type look. So I can't complain. There's more pigment than I thought. I literally thought it was a little kid makeup that just doesn't show up at all. So we're riding with it really writing with it. <laughs> okay, next, for 12 colors, you get this look that's inside. Whatever this palette is right here. Oh, I can't tell. It's going to be a bad day. Oh my gosh. I went to the gym. That's why I can't open this. My arms are too weak. Okay, so this is traditional. This palette right here, um, of course, it's got to be taped. Like, that was the hardest. I don't think anyone could have opened that wrapping. Put that there. Um, comes with one of these, which I actually should start keeping. If you guys don't know, you can mix foundation on them instead of putting it on your hand. I actually put foundation on my hand one time, and I forgot that I had excess, like, liquid on there and I went to get dressed and I wiped it all over an outfit that I needed to wear. So how mad was I? I was pretty mad. These brushes, I don't understand why things keep getting put in there, you know? And I also bought one of these wet and wild brushes right here. Um, I already have a few wet and wild brushes. I'm not that impressed, but I love this thick brush right here. It's really good for like blending and doing all you gotta do. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. Um, a lot of shimmery 
looking colors. We're going to go in and we're going to take this shade right here and do this as our transitional shade. Oh yeah, can you see the glitter? It's crazy. Not even transitional, but the entire sh palette is freaking glitter, so. Let me see, I can see. I'm blind, so. Okay, we're just gonna go with the flow, and next one we're gonna go in with this shade right here. Kinda just darken it up a little bit. You can see the glitter really pops up, the color does not. I don't really know what's happening right now because and I'm really upset too because I couldn't find a concealer anywhere um, which I really love putting if I can't find a primer of course you're not gonna find a dollar primer I can't find one anywhere unless I go on Amazon but um, to put on my eyes because that's probably why these shades aren't sticking as well as they could next we're gonna go in with this top shade right here I'm going to try and get some color. There we go. We have somewhere. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. I just did the wrong one. We're just going to ignore that. It's like coming out blue on one side. So maybe it has like a blue in it. I'm not quite sure. But. At least we're getting some color. And I do have to say, in a few weeks, you guys should be expecting a rave video that I'm so excited for. This blue made me think about it. Um, I'm going to Hard Summer. I just came back from Audio Autistic. It was so last minute. Me and Mike weren't planning on even going. And he bought the tickets. And so I would have had a video, but definitely... We were like rushing everywhere. I had one day the day before to go get outfits so we could go and it was a hot mess. It was so much fun. Uh, if you guys follow me on any social media, Twitter, Instagram, there will be linked below. Snapchat, um, you'll see like my outfits and some makeup that I did. But for hard summer, um, it's definitely going to be a lot more calm. We've had this plan for a long time. So, okay, so I've right now used one, two, three, four, five colors, and I look like the grudge a little bit on my face. So, I'm just gonna go in with a this orange color right here. Okay. Orange, okay, so in one of my last videos, if you haven't watched it, I had a problem with, like, Dijon orange, and this one is starting to make my hope a little happy when it comes to orange. It's really pretty. So we're good. Yeah, see, like, that's not bad. I think this is, like, bright as we're going to get, if I'm being honest with you. So next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Trying to find it. Um, I'm going to make it a little darker. This, Look at that. Do you see that? That's literally crazy. You barely touch it and just powder just comes up everywhere. I was going to be like... Let's do a cut crease and but this palette sucks balls. Yeah, so definitely it's a very natural look, which I'm not hating. I'm not gonna say I don't like it because I'm a natural eye type of girl, but I don't know. Well, next we're going to take this Wet n Wild brush, and I'm going to take that orange color that we took in the beginning, and I'm just going to run it along my 
lash line and maybe something will pop up. Watching my video Watching my videos, I've realized I make some of the ugliest faces, and I never thought I did. I was like one of those girls, I was like, oh, I don't make those faces when you put on makeup, but. Okay. So, under the eye, it did something. I think it would have been a little bit better if we were able to, like, conceal and make that look all padded down. Oh, man. That fallout really got in there. Okay, so we are going to be going in with this Wet n Wild freaking mascara. Um, I actually love their mascara. I think it has a really good brush. Um, all of their lashes look like ass, not gonna lie. So I thought since I knew this was gonna be more of like a natural type look and we're gonna make it pop with the lipstick, why would I um, bring in lashes and all that so okay so that is the natural look I don't even know if I want to do this lipstick because I got this one and to me it looks so inappropriate it's called coral fun um I'm probably gonna take it off after because I have errands to run but it's by LA Colors as well Why in the world would you have something out like, um, okay, creamy. Okay, it's definitely not as red as it I thought it was going to be. And it's not matte. I only picked it out because I, it said matte. Okay, so everyone, this is the look that I got at the dollar store. I am actually not that upset with the look what I was hoping is gonna be more pigment but what can you ask for it's a dollar store so if you guys enjoyed this video we're gonna be having more challenges more looks more tutorials I'm gonna be doing hair um, coming up very soon these next few weeks are gonna be so busy um, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe turn on my post notifications follow me on all my social media I will actually be doing videos on Instagram on Twitter snapchat will have me getting ready behind the scenes and a bunch of things like that actually going shopping so you gotta be on those things to see what's gonna happen so everything will be below thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in a few days